With cement prices averaging 95 cities, players within the industry say they are experiencing low sales. This is contrary to projections of a significant surge in the global concrete and cement market, with experts estimating a staggering growth of 469.01 billion US dollars at a compound annual growth rate of 7.1 percent between 2022 and 2027. There's more in the following report. As cities expand and population soar, analysts within the construction industry project that the demand for infrastructure, housing and commercial spaces will also rise globally. However, this uptick in the industry is not reflected in the Ghanaian market as the prices of building materials continue to surge. A ton of iron rods is priced at approximately 8,400 cities and a pavement block selling for 10 cities. During my visit to the popular Cantamanto market, I interacted with Bedou, who has been selling cement for decades. This is a ton of 95 and a 105. 105 in the near 42.5 R and a 105. I followed up at a construction site where the owner explained that market activities have slowed down for some time now. The market is very, 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 very low as compared to last year. So all what I can say is that things are very bad. This year it's even, even, even tougher than last year. And uh, you could see the business is not going up, moving at all. Samuel Amegebo is the executive secretary of the Ghana Real Estate Developers Association, and he shares his perspective on the positive projection of the industry. But generally, the construction industry itself also is also suffering a bit because, uh, as you, are, you you can see, even government projects, a lot of them are on hold, which means that. Consumption of building materials obviously will come down, and construction industry, as we all know it, uh, the biggest spender uh, or the biggest client is always government. And so the private sector is trying; they are managing uh, what what it is under the circumstance. But uh, we must admit that it is not all that rosy at the moment, and so uh, people will have to cut down on you know, activities in the industry. And as you can see, government projects, most of them are also on hold. And I mean, road projects around this time, which is a, a election year, well, I would have expected some very serious activity right now. But as we see, it, the first quarter is, is done. We have just entered the second quarter and things are still looking slow. Although there is a positive global outlook for the construction and cement industry, the high prices of this product have not necessarily translated into an uptake in the Ghanaian market. Reporting for CNR Business, my name is Emmanuel Bokomo.